Hello friends, this video on respiration in organisms part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we actually uh, talked about the two types of respiration. So now we are talking about something which is a very common term for all of us, breathing. So we all breathe in, right? We breathe in, we breathe out, we perform pranayama in the morning, a lot of us. We perform yoga, the breathing exercises, we say that they are very much helpful for a healthy living. So we talk so much about breathing. So can you tell me or can you guess how is breathing related to respiration? Because till now we have been talking about respiration, the types of respiration and suddenly I switched to breathing. So how is it related? So respiration is nothing but a process in which air is taken into and expelled out of our lungs. Okay, so we all know that we breathe in air, we breathe out air. So we all know this fact. What are we actually doing? Now, do you recollect that till now when we, while we were talking about respiration, we have been continuously talking about oxygen and carbon dioxide. We have been continuously telling that oxygen is something which is needed for the process of respiration and carbon dioxide is something which is actually produced during the process of respiration. So, our body actually needs oxygen inside. So, it, it actually breathes in oxygen and it breathes out carbon dioxide. So, we do not want carbon dioxide, we just breathe out so that it goes out of our body. The air which we breathe in, it contains oxygen. So, we utilize that oxygen from the air. So, that's how breathing is related to respiration because by the process of breathing, it actually helps in exchange of gases so that the process of respiration can take place inside the cells of our body. So when we talk about breathing, now, okay, another important thing, a lot of people say that, what do we breathe in? Which gas do we breathe in? People will say that we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. That is a simple answer given by most of them. Now another question that might strike your mind is, is it only oxygen that we are breathing in? Because we are actually breathing in air and what is the air made up of? Air contains nitrogen, air contains oxygen, air also contains carbon dioxide, air also contains very little amount of some other gases. So when we are breathing in air, we are not breathing in only oxygen, we are breathing in that entire air, which of course contains oxygen. Similarly, when we breathe out, is it only carbon dioxide which is being breathed out or that is also again air, which is mixture of gases, which also contains carbon dioxide. Well, the correct answer is we actually breathe in air and air contains oxygen. Similarly, we breathe out air and air contains carbon dioxide. Then the Question is, then why do we say that we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide? That is because the net amount of oxygen that goes in and comes out, looking at both the values, we see that a net amount of oxygen goes inside our body. So overall, we can say that we have taken in oxygen because from the air which we have breathed in, oxygen is purposely taken by the cells of the body because oxygen is something which is needed. The, the cells of our body do not need nitrogen for respiration. They do not need carbon dioxide for respiration. So they will selectively choose oxygen and take it. So that is why we take, say that we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. However, we will discuss this topic also in more detail a little later. So I hope you got to know what is breathing. Okay, so it is the process of taking in air and again expelling out air. Now there is something called breathing rate. Now have you ever observed when we breathe? So you breathe in, you breathe out. So you, you'll see that you'll be able to control the speed at which you breathe. If you want, you can breathe very fast. If you want, you can breathe quite slowly, the way you do while doing yoga. So you breathe in slowly and again you breathe out slowly. But sometimes when you are performing a, a tedious physical activity, maybe you are running, jogging, dancing or doing something. So you see, you tend to breathe faster or when you climb the stairs, maybe some three, four floors, you go by stairs. Again, that time also you start breathing very fast. So what is changing actually? You are still breathing in and breathing out, but something is changing. 
So you know what is breathing rate? So breathing rate is nothing but the number of times a person breathes in one minute. So that is defined as breathing rate. Now just now I was telling right that sometimes we breathe fast. Sometimes we breathe very slow. Now, how do we define how much fast we are breathing or how much slow are we breathing? So for that, we need a, a basis for measurement. So that is breathing rate. That is how many times do we breathe in one minute? In fact, if you want, you can just calculate it for yourself. Take a deep breath, breathe out again, and then you try to see how many times do you breathe in and how many times do you breathe out in one minute. Now, normally it has been seen that uh, human beings breathe 15 to 18 times in one minute. So it is not exactly the same for every individual. Some people might have a breathing rate of 15 times per minute. Some people might have a breathing rate of say 17 times per minute. So it might fluctuate a little bit, but yeah, normally it falls in this range 15 to 18 times per minute. Now, how do we define one breath? So one breath is like one inhalation and one exhalation. That is one breathing in plus one breathing out. So one in plus one out. That is one breath. So every time you breathe in, it is very obvious that after that you will breathe out. So again, breathe in, breathe out. So one breathe in plus one breathe out is equal to one breath. So that is why sometimes people say that how many breaths per minute. So breaths would mean both in as well as out. So let's say if you are breathing in, you should not count it as one and then count it as two. That, that's not the right way. So breathing in and breathing out is one. Again, next time breathing in and breathing out is 2. Again, next time breathing in and breathing out is 3. So that is how you have to count because 1 in plus 1 out is equal to 1 breath. Correct? So I hope I am clear on this part. Now, what actually happens during doing an exercise or during climbing the stairs or doing some heavy work? The energy demand of the body increases because when you are running or jumping or doing some activity, your body needs all the more energy. So energy demand is increasing. Now when body needs more oxygen and how do we get oxygen inside our body? By breathing in, by breathing in air through our nose. So that's how we get oxygen. Now when the oxygen demand is increasing, we tend to breathe faster so that our body is able to get more oxygen. So to provide our body with more oxygen, we tend to breathe faster. And that is why while doing exercise, the breathing rate increases. It might increase up to say 25 times per minute as well. So therefore, if you compare the breathing rate of this girl who is playing football with the breathing rate of this woman who is just sitting idle. So the energy demand in case of this girl is a lot more than that of this woman. So therefore, her breathing rate would be somewhere around 15 to 17 times per minute. Whereas her breathing rate might be as high as 25 times per minute. So breathing rate changes as per the oxygen demand of body. So when the oxygen demand increases, we tend to breathe faster because faster means maybe in one minute you are breathing 25 times. So it is like almost 10 more extra. You breathe, you breathed 10 times more, correct? So initially it was 15 times, now it is 25 times. So 10 more breaths you have taken. So some extra amount of oxygen would have gone inside your body. So to supply more oxygen to your body, you tend to breathe faster. And that is why your breathing rate increases when you do some uh, physical activity which is more vigorous and which needs more energy. 
Now, many times people get confused with breathing and respiration. People feel that, okay, breathing and respiration, they are the same thing. But I think the way I have explained since beginning, you are aware that they are not same thing. So breathing is just one part of respiration. So when we talk about respiration, it is a biochemical process. Why, chemi why biological process? Because it is taking place inside the body of living organisms. Why chemical? Because a lot of chemical reactions are also in involved as a part of respiration. During respiration, what is happening? Oxidation of food is taking place. As a result, carbon dioxide, water is produced. Sometimes lactic acid is produced. Sometimes alcohol is produced. So these are all chemical reactions taking place. So, so many chemical processes are involved. So respiration is a biochemical process. Whereas breathing is just a physical process. So breathing is all about taking in air and giving out air. So it is only that physical part in which you just take in air through your nostrils and again you expel out air through your nostrils. So here you are not worried about the chemical processes taking place inside your body. So respiration takes place both extracellular as well as intracellular. Intracellular because intra in within the cells and extracellular is outside the cell. So which part of respiration takes place inside the cells? The oxidation of food. So that reaction takes place inside the cell. That is why that part is often called cellular respiration. And extracellular what happens? The exchange of gases. Because for respiration you need oxygen and you need to expel out carbon dioxide. So all these gaseous exchange takes place extracellular. So and breathing is completely extracellular because breathing only deals with exchange of gases. So breathing deals with exchange of gases. But when you talk about respiration, it deals with exchange of gases plus the oxidation of food to produce energy. So in respiration, enzymes action involved during oxidation of food. In breathing, no enzymes are involved. Respiration energy is released because if you look at the process, if you look at the chemical reaction of oxidation of food, you see that energy is released which is stored in the form of ATP molecules. But in breathing, no energy is released. In respiration, all body cells are involved because cellular respiration takes place inside each and every cell of our body. So everywhere it is actually taking place, inside every cell of our body. But breathing, only certain organs are involved because for example, one such organ is nostrils. So we breathe in through our nostrils. It is not only nostril which is involved, but only a certain set of organs are involved, not all the cells of our body. So this is how we can differentiate the two. So please remember that breathing and respiration are not at all the same thing. Breathing is just one part of respiration. But when we talk of respiration, it is more than breathing. It is, of course, breathing is included there. But on, in addition to that, it also talks about the oxidation of food to release energy, which helps an organism to perform various activities. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.